Hi folks, it's Julie again, and I am having a fantastic day grocery shopping for the first time this weekend in the city. I already shared another video with you, and now I'm going to share this one. I'm so happy because I lived in a rural area that was economically depressed, and I love my hometown, but it was hard for our family to get all the things that we needed um, as vegan, or all the things that we wanted as vegans um, at great prices, so... I am not having that issue here at all. Do you see? Like, I can't even smile any bigger right now. Um, so, I went to the Dollar Tree. I'm going to give a shout out to the <laughs> Dollar Tree, which is not my normal kind of store. But I needed some storage bins because I'm doing, like, this Marie Kondo organizing thing. Um, and I found, like, frozen veggies and frozen fruit. And normally, you know, I do try to buy organic when I can. But I always like to have some frozen veggies in the in the freezer just for a quick go. And I'll show you, I found peaches and pineapple and blueberries, more blueberries, more pineapple, um, winter blend veggies, frozen asparagus, okay? Um, and of course, you know, dried beans. But like $10, Brian, can you take a little shot over there? 10 bucks. And I got like some just staples to have at the quick ready. And then I went to the Mediterranean marketplace. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh friends, I'm so screwed. This place is one minute, one minute walking from my house. I look out my living room when, uh, door, it's right there, I can see it, I can wave to the owners. And by the way, I made friends over there already. So that's really cool. And I found some good stuff, like, really good stuff if you are in Worcester and you happen to go near this place it's called Bonans you have to go they have everything um, so I got some chickpeas I like to do dry beans as much as I can and I bought several but I like to have some canned just on hand for quick meals and so I got three giant cans of these for like three three dollars I think that was incredible. So we got more protein. As you can see, I've got my pinto beans and my chickpeas. And from earlier today, I got my giant things of tofu. My son got some flatbread pita bread because he loves that. What else did I get today? I got for my toast, I got figs, ground figs. I absolutely love figs. So I got those for my toast. And I got some canned lentils for the ready quick and easy to go. What else did I get? I got my beloved chickpea flour. They had it. I was so excited and a big thing of it for $3 and change. Um, I, this is what I make my chickpea omelets with, my fake omelets, but they're not fake because they're full of protein, low fat, and absolutely delicious. So I got a big bag of that. I got, this was my, my selfish purchase. So it's cardamom tea. And if you could smell it, I can smell it through the can. It's a big, big thing of it. And I absolutely love the spiced cardamom, but I wasn't finding this in my hometown. Mm. And the price was really good. This is going to last me a long time. And I can't wait for my daughter to come over and sip some cardamom tea with me. This is going to be good. What else did I got? I got, I got some fresh Medjool dates. They are, if you could feel how unbelievably soft they are, these are going to be delicious. So this is my candy for the day, my fresh dates. And I got, of course, dried lentils at phenomenal prices, dried chickpeas, and my dried red lentils. So I've got the green and the red. So obviously, you know, we're going to get our protein. Don't you worry about us poor sad vegans. We'll find a way to get that protein so we can lift heavy things and do great things. And I got a red onion and a yellow onion. I got, um, my husband loves carob. So we try to not use a lot of like just regular sugar. We try not to do that. So we got carob molasses. So they extracted the, the sweet stuff from the carob and they, that's all that's in it is extracted carob. And so that'll be our molasses for this week. Never had it. I, they had date taste and all that kind of stuff over there. But I thought this would be kind of cool to try. So we got that. And I think I'm just about done. Oh, no. Their olive bar 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's it. Oh my goodness. I got nothing else to say about it. Just oh my goodness. Um, yeah. They have an olive bar over there. So the problem is, like, I would need, like, thousands of dollars <laughs> to show you everything that's over there. But hopefully over a course of a year, I can show you all kinds of good things that are over there. Anyways, um, it's going to be some good healthy eating this week. Lots of whole grains, lots of proteins, uh, lots of veggies, and we've got one more place to hit. We're going to go to Big Y today to get some more Brian's food products <laughs> and um, some stuff for some salads and stuff. So I'll let you know how that goes. I love all you guys. Even if I haven't met you, I probably love you. And uh, have a great day. And cruelty-free, that's an awesome way to go. Better for the planet, better for the animals, better for your body. I love you guys. Bye.